Have a look. That is quite sharp. You might have heard the grunt also from Shane Bond through the uh, stump microphones. 143 k's per hour, second ball of the innings. Oh, he's such a pleasure to watch. Terrific. What a delivery as well. Movement, pace, bounce, everything there in it. That's an outstanding delivery. That's brilliant stuff from Bond. Again. That is a terrific start from Shane Bond. He's got to set the trend. None for none. There was a noise and he's gone. It's a bit of a strangle in the end. Sarah Gonguna can clear himself just a fraction unfortunate, I would imagine. He spotted the one before, faced a very good over from Bond, so obviously a little bit agitated. And in the end, leg side and a good catch by McCullum. Indeed, unfortunate, you must say, down the leg side, off the glove, it's the bounce and a good take by McCullum. But this is reward for some very fine bowling for Bond. Hasn't played many games and he's gone. That is an outstanding Yorker. There is nothing more pleasing to see from a fast bowler than 22 yards away. He disturbed the furniture with something that just snuck underneath the bat. Well, that is magnificent bowling. Young man in, just take a look at that. What a delivery. In swinging Yorker at 145 Ks. Really didn't, wasn't expecting it, or even if he was, he wasn't just up to it. Early nerves as well, I'm sure. Chopped it on. Goodness me, what a start from Shane Bond. New Zealand are ecstatic at the moment. They've got some big wickets, and there's none bigger than Dravid. Fantastic performance. New Zealand are back with a bang. One always felt that 215 wasn't quite up to mark on this wicket, but take a look at this. Went for the cut, just got too much over the ball, bat closing in and played it on. A little bit of room outside the Austin, but it's never easy to cut an incoming bowler. You'd never quite know that. Just a hint of inward movement can do this to you. Just dragged it on, drive it. Not because of the movement, but because of the pace. It didn't have too much time to really go for that. 177 to get. Bond is still steaming in. It's taken! That is a stunner! Bond gets number five. India lose Sehwag. This is the fielder's uh, wicket. I would like to see the completion of the catch. Let me say one thing. It was a fantastic effort. But I still would like to see the completion of the catch. It's taken overhead. Has he now been able to... Yes, he has. Yes, he has. A lot of uh, fielders fall with the ball touching the ground. Oh, put down. That was a straightforward chance. I think it took Shane Bourne by surprise. He expected it to come a lot quicker than it did. And uh, a lucky let off for India and Irfan Patan. Yes, I think this is uh, again a slower delivery, which has deceived... Uh, Irfan Patan, who's been batting so well. That's edge taken. Now, Sunny Gavaska was mentioning just a little while earlier that just give respect to the bowler who's taken five wickets. This was the last ball of Bond's ninth over. Patan went after it and paid the price. It was wide, could have been left alone. In the end, an outside edge and a simple catch to McCullum. So, a fighting innings comes to an end. Six for 19, Shane Bourne. I tell you what, I watched that game. That was fast and furious. Uh, he decimated India. Six wickets in a one-day game and happening so quickly. It was a terrific effort. Now, genuine fast bowler. Nice and strong. Lovely action. Nice clean action. And is always around the 140, 145 uh, mark. Almost every ball and then I think uh, uh, Shane Bond the quality he has is he gets uh, wickets with the new ball. You see people say new ball is easy to bowl. I, I differ. Me mm. and Vakar always thought new ball was easy, difficult for difficult. us to, to bowl because it's difficult to control uh, the swing. We eventually learn but he bowls new ball to, to, to perfection. He bowls away swingers then he bowls in swingers to a left hander. He's got the Yorker going and he's quick. And beautiful action, rhythmic, close to the wicket, and he uses the crease as much. 
and you, when you use a crease at, a, at your early age of your career it means you know there are two different things as a bowler using a crease means if it's swinging you can go wide of the crease and bowl away swinger to a right hander if it's not swinging don't try that because it's gonna get hit for four because of the angle so these this these little things you have to pick up early on your career when to use the cream and when not to and Shane Bond picked it up very nicely early, early on on his career you know you mentioned uh, he's got a great action you know he seems to be technically sound because you know he's injury prone he's always uh, in and out of the New Zealand side but when he comes back in he, you know, it's as if he's never missed a game. Never, never missed a game because of his, uh, like, you know, so in, in, ba in batting, they say if you're out of form, go back to basic. Basic is defense. Mm. Defend. If you don't have a good defensive uh, system as a batsman, you would never last long. Shane Bond, easy action, goes back nicely, high arm action, right in the end, nice wrist behind the ball, and yes, and the pace. And he, he enjoys bowling. He enjoys getting wicket with the, with the new ball and the top order batsman. So most of the wickets come with the new ball and the top order. So that's why he's a match winner.